morning guys, it's uh, before 10 o'clock for a change. Um, <laughs> power went off. And just while I think of that, I'm going to turn the fan off, I forgot to hit the switch earlier. Yeah, power went down for about 45 minutes for some reason. Tried to come back on a couple of times, but... I don't know, there must have been a minor fault somewhere. Because it sort of came back on and went straight back off at least twice. Like a circuit breaker had been tripped again as soon as power had, or as soon as it had been switched back on. So, <laughs> we seem to have steady power now, but I did decide to just go around town and leave it a little while, you know, just to see if it would stable out. I didn't want to put the PC on for it to keep going out like that, so I'm not going to just sign it in. I'll keep meaning to see if I can change the settings on this so I don't have to sign in every time. It's not a problem, I just prefer to turn the computer on and for it to boot straight up. I'm the only one that lives here so it's not like I'm going to have the boogeyman come in here and try and turn my PC on. No, it's not a security thing I really need. I'm just having a bit of a sort out here. I was playing with Lego last night like I said I would. <laughs> right. So, while the computer's booting up, as soon as I can actually have some space here to sit and eat, I'm clearing some room. I'm dropping bricks on the floor. I actually managed to lose a tub of brick as well, believe it or not. I don't know where it's gone. I had it last night, I put it down somewhere. Now I can't find it. Wind is quite strong again as well. Seriously, it's like winter this week. We've had a week of winter. And we've done. Oh, we are done booting. That was quick. See, sometimes this machine will boot up fairly fast like that. And by boot up, I mean the length of time it takes for the hard drive activity light to stop flashing. That's when I consider a PC fully booted. And sometimes it can sit here for ages, I suppose, and I don't know, it depends if it's updated or not, I suppose. It seems like the power cut only affected at least my road. It didn't affect any of the town centre because all the shops are still open and they've all got lights on and... Because obviously in the power cut, not many shops could uh, trade because of electronic tills. I don't think this Facebook memories thing actually works. Because I'm pretty certain I didn't... Oh, I did. Yeah. It's just a tree falling down. Apparently that was a year ago. I actually thought that was a little bit longer than that. Because that came down in high winds. Hmm. 
right as well so I can wash my plate up I've only got one bloody plate I cracked one didn't I accidentally though so I just put it down on the worktop and it didn't sound right so I picked it up and put it down again and it just split straight in half <laughs> Right, might as well take fluid with me. It's alright, just so running for a bit. Let the tap get nice and toasty. That doesn't take long for hot water to run through because, uh, well, it's only got to go from there to there. <laughs> hey, we're steaming already. Good. Close that, or turn it off I should say, grab that. I was going to do my baked bean speciality but uh, I changed my mind when I was in town. Which is a bit of a bummer because I'd already gone and got the beans and the bread, but never mind. Might have those later. Right, where's my little bag? Found this, it was actually reduced and it was their last one so I decided I'll grab one. It might come in useful. Whoa. Silver Crest Power Bank. I don't know if I'll ever find a use for it, but if we ever have a power cut again, at least I've got a something there I could um, power something by. If that make any sense. Well, as long as it runs on a USB anyway. Ah, there you are. Knew I had them somewhere. <laughs> it's one of these blister packs again. I know it's a good, cheap, sturdy package, but they are so annoying to open. There's a fair bit of weight with this, so I presume batteries are in it. Yep, it's got. According to this, a powerful 5,200 milliamp hour lithium polymer battery. Ooh. I actually have to say, this is the first device I've got in the flat that actually has a lithium polymer. Most of my devices are either lithium iron, like my laptops, or NICAD or nickel metal hydride, that's the other one. So we've got that, we've got the little charger cable. And we've got the manual. I better have a read of that. I don't normally, but for charging smartphones, tablets, ebook readers, etc. on the go, powerful. You know, put with 2.1 amp current for rapid charging. Charges up to three devices at once. Battery status indicator via four LEDs, two built in cables, USB cable for charging the power bank, micro USB cable for charging external devices. Includes additional micro USB cable. Input current 5 volt 1 amp. Output current max 5 volt 2.1 amp. Well, actually, on this one, it says the micro USB. Right, let's get in there. And up the right way. Or was it up the right way? No, it was up the right way. Duh. It says in. And the two main USBs are out. So that would plug in there. And that's how you charge it. Yeah. Why do they do this? Look. What the fuck is that? Well, that's already a bad point for me, personally, because, you know, my USB ports are on my PC underneath here. You know, the lead ain't quite long enough. 
you know, personally, it's not a huge issue. I mean, there's probably other methods I could use to charge it, like uh, my um, USB adapter, actually. But then again, even that lead ain't going to be long enough. Yeah, we call them leads here. I don't know why. It leads you to the device. <laughs> I don't look like there's any... No, there's no buttons or anything to press. It also says it can charge up to three devices, but it's only got two USB ports, so... Um... Oh, I see. It's got one amp USB out and the um, 2.1 amp USB out. I'm actually glad I got one of these. I keep seeing um, a lot of these ele electronics th enthusiasts and whatnot I watch on YouTube, you know, review these things. Oh, there is a power button. And we are fully charged. It smells nice. Okay. You can turn it on, but you can't turn it off. Oh, I see. It's got like an auto timeout if nothing's connected, I suppose, because it's just gone off by itself. I suppose um, if nothing's connected, it'll just shut itself off. I'm presuming. Have a quick look at this. Even goes through what the LEDs on mean. Oh, I see. Ah, I see what it does. Because like, I thought myself that would be quite obvious. You know, the less LEDs lit, the lower the battery is. And she says here, all LEDs on. 100%, 3 on, 75 to 99%, 2 LEDs on, 50 to 74%, 1 LED on, 20 to 49%, 1 LED flashing is 20% or less. Right. Before using the power bank, the integrated battery must be fully charged. The required charging time for the power bank is dependent of the charging source and its output. Max 5 volt 1 amp. I well, know lithium polymer batteries can be rather touchy, so I don't think I'd want to exceed that personally. Um, da -da -da -da. Only use mains adapters with an output voltage of 5 volt and an output current of at least 1 amp. Or a USB 3 port on your computer to charge the power bank. You can recognise the USB 3 port due to the blue marking. Yep, and I don't have any. Which means if I plugged it into my computer it's going to take a lot longer to charge it. When charging via USB via a USB port, ensure that at least one further USB port remains free. This also applies when using USB 3 ports. Yeah. 
Ah, so you're not supposed to let these um, go flat either. It says here for storage. The usual, store the device in a location which is clean, dry, dust-free and not in direct sunlight. As I suppose the sunlight, it doesn't matter about the externals so much, but if that battery get bloody hot, that'll explode. I would presume. It says, for long-term storage, the integrated battery should be fully charged to extend its operating life. During prolonged periods of non-use, you should top up the battery charge regularly. This is necessary to prolong the battery life. I suppose... Wait a minute. Looky what I found. There's one. <laughs> and I didn't even realise it did. I was just looking at the photo on the front there and I was like, hang on a minute. Oh, no, I don't want to go back. Oh, there we go. That's an output as well. Five volt, one amp output so you can charge... Um, Micro devices. You've got the. That's cool. That's all built in. Is this an output or is this an input? What's this one? Ah! That's an input. So I can use that to charge as well. Sweet. That is actually quite. I like that design. Actually, at first glance though, you'd have thought that was just there for decoration, wouldn't you? You know, just a bit of trim. No, it is actually cable. That is smart. I like that. Apparently this is called Ian. <laughs> so I've got Ian. Right, well that's going to be its name then. I'm going to call it Ian. I'm going to have another a good read of this just to make sure. I don't do anything daft with it. Right, well, I'm going to shut the camera off. I've got other things to do, such as eat <laughs> and drink. Um, build, possibly. Oh, try and finish that bike behind me as well. So, I was actually put the camera on my face. That might be a good idea, you know. So, I'm actually talking to the camera. Well, actually, I am talking to the camera, but the camera was down here somewhere. So, anyway. Talk to you all later. Whoops. Talk to you all later. I don't know what I'm doing now. I'm hungry. Thirsty. That's my excuse. Um. I got bored. <laughs> I got bored and went to my favourite junk shop. Um. Probably not a good idea. There's a lot there, but I didn't spend as much as you might think. I only spent ten pounds. I'm just plugging the cable in. <laughs> hmm. Most of it is actually music CDs than anything else. I've got some. Uh, I think they're all. They're all alive, is what they are. Oh. Yeah, I've got some. Uh, PC CDs here, or PC games here. There, right, I'm ready. I've been doing everything one-handed in the shop. What have we got? Wild in Conflict. I know, there's a lot of half-decent PC game. Now I've got Soldier of Fortune for the PlayStation 2, but I can't remember if it is Soldier of Fortune 2. I don't think it is. So I'm going to have a go at this. I might run a Windows 7, I don't know, I'll have to have a look. Just for the heck of it, I might find something interesting on there when I'm bored. Uh, and again, just a couple of... Uh, he used to play like this, a, a version of these on um, Facebook. You could only go so far with it, it was like a demo version. So I thought, well, I'll get the real thing while it's there. 
And yeah, like I said, oh, there's a couple of um, PlayStation 1 games. And there's another, at least one more of those in there. Top of the Pops tape. There's only one in there, but that don't bother me. And the rest is... Yeah. Mainly just CDs. There's the other one. I don't believe... Uh, well, I know I don't have the Tiger Woods one. So I don't have any sports games, but if I find them cheap, I'll get them just to add to the collection. Is that it? No. Found a little tripod. Uh, it's a very small one, but that might make my life a little bit easy. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, that's a bit loose, though. I haven't actually figured out how you... Uh... Ah, you have. I won't go that way. Another one go that way. Oh, I see. Ah! You can just fold out the legs like that. That is actually going to give me a better base for the camera. It's got some rubber feet so it won't slide everywhere. Feels very light and cheap though, but... Let me just see if I can get it on the camera. Can I do that? Yeah, it's going on the camera. Yay! No, it's not. The screw thread won't go in. Is that because I was trying to cross-thread it? It's not easy doing it blonde, you know? Hmm. Screw thread might don't go into the camera for some reason. I have to play with that later. I think it's me. <sighs> Got some more of these. Oh, the other thing I got was 24 volt transformer. Um, this is actually for some Christmas lights. Isolating transformer as well. Because I've got Christmas lights up in the cupboard without a power supply, so I nabbed that when I saw it. And a spare. Dell mouse, which I've actually just realised is rollerball for some reason. I thought that was uh, optical. Oops. Oh well. It's USB. <laughs> and a shitload of uh, various CDs. Some of these haven't got all the discs in these now ones. But I did actually find when I was poking around in the shop. You've really got to dig around in that shop because I have a there's a 76 disc there's another 62 disc <laughs> so some tapes I'm not sure what's in those tapes and a 30 no 36 I'm sure there's a no oh no I was thinking of another case what have we got in this one what is it Oh no, that's what I call music. 80, is that disc 2? No, it's disc 1. I'm sure I've got one of those. I threw the case out because I only had one CD with it. Kept the CD. I well, know 62 goes there. That's 82. That's 80. Oh. That's got disc one in it. Oh, and disc two. Whoops. I've got spare disc one then. <laughs> oh dear. It's these now music CDs that I'm trying to uh, collect up. Well, I've got now 65 that I found kicking around as well. <sighs> right, stick that in there. It's not going to hold very well because this case is actually broken. Fuck it, broken, sod it. <laughs> now 80. 
Oh yeah, I've done that one, didn't I? 82. Did I only get the one in this one? Yeah. Disc one, no 80. That's not a problem. Oh, I've got a stitch. I think. <laughs> I just thought I'd better come away from the shop before I spend any more money because it was it's just shitloads. And I mean shitloads of si oh hello. Oh, but now 33 and now 36 in one sleeve. I didn't know that. I thought it was just a now 36. Ew. Disc one, let me guess, disc one. Yeah, it was always disc one. <laughs> What's this one? Is that disc one or disc two? That's disc two. What about the 76? That's disc one. So out of all the ones with a disc missing, they're all missing disc two. <laughs> for, some, for some obscure reason. Because I had more loose discs than that. Oh yeah, they're up here. got no idea if they play. I've got no idea how well they're going to play. If they do. Probably not very well. Oh. Yeah. I've got £20 left, or a £20 note, and whatever shrapnel I've got in my pocket. It's a bitch that I can't put the discs in here to try them. Oh, you bastard, what the fuck is wrong? It's right across. Across here, it does actually feel like a stitch. But it's going the whole bloody width. <laughs> I get it now and again. Not disappear in a little while. Definitely going to have a go at the um, Soldier of Fortune. I may not have a working Xbox at the moment, but I do have a working Xbox controller. No, I don't. Because I don't have any batteries in it. <laughs> Um, but I'd rather use that for playing these PC games. What I'm going to have to do then... Is stick my double A's on charge, because I'll use the rechargeable ones. I'll use a Tronic pair in there. Uh, well, for 2 99 I could go and get another pack out of Lidl's, because I've got them in again. RJ the bike guy has made another video testing out various rust removal formulas and things. Easy, take the rusty bit off, put a clean bit on, rust gone. interesting mix. I put two photos of my clock tower that I've built at Lego on the AFOLS group. Um, one's got the grey window, or the window frame, one's got the white. I personally prefer the white. And at the moment, out of 12 comments, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, Hmm. It's half and half at the minute then. <laughs> One's been awkward and said green. <laughs> uh, actually no, because one of the comments is mine. So actually white is in the lead by one. Then grey, then green. But I don't have green so I can't do a green window. Otherwise I think green would have looked nice actually. I think he's right. Um, what do you reckon? I'm going to show you this and I'm going to disappear. Let me grab a bite to eat. Here's the original 
with the grey window. And here's the one with the white window. I think the white actually looks better. Yeah. Maybe if I'd done the grey in a light grey, that would have looked okay, but I think personally I prefer the white. Right. Bollocks, I forgot to bring the frickin' nuts and bolts and whatnot up to do these the lights on this clawed. How does that work? It says my friend here posted one minute ago on this status, but on chat it says she was on five hours ago. <laughs> ah, she's used a mobile phone, so maybe can only go on one or the other. Ah, uh, yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> oh dear, anything interesting going on? No, right, bollocks then, I'm going to disappear. I've got another sausage roll up here I can munch on. Yeah. Right, sort the CD out as well. Well, a couple of hairs out of here. Let's try again. I've got a couple of hairs, I don't even know why I threw in, but I think there's a drive time disc there. I've got drive time disc 2 in my hand, but I think disc 1 is also in there. I'll go and get that another day. Let's their stock is constantly changing, so it's nice to go in there at least once a week. I keep picking up these games and things on the cheap. Well, it's less than a pound each for everything, because there's just there's more than ten items in that back pile alone. Plus, I got that as well, and the um, mouse, and that adapter. So, uh, yeah, alright then. I'll talk to you later. Hopefully I'll have some lights on that bike. I may even drag the thing downstairs and do it downstairs. I don't know yet. Reflective. I keep trying to get the reflector in the camera, but... Uh, there we go. I've got it. I keep getting in the light myself. Right, talk to you later. I was just browsing Facebook and come across this um, news article from The Mirror. I um, haven't read all the comments in the comments section because I don't really need to. But apparently this Red Bull addict drank up to 20 cans a day has now been hospital hospitalised with appalling liver damage. Um... Now, I know people are actually going to blame the energy blame the energy drink and say, yeah, energy drinks are bad for you, they're bad for your health, they're full of sugar and caffeine, blah, 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 which are... technically isn't a lie, but I will just point out one thing. I might get my arm comfortable. <laughs> The thing is, she was drinking a 20 cans a day. That would be... 120 ca 140 cans in a seven day week. That is one hell of a lot of sugar and caffeine in a week. Energy drinks are not actually meant to be consumed like that. They're meant to be used as an energy boost. If you're feeling, you know, a bit ugh, and you need that sort of a kick, like if you just pulled an all-nighter and you just need that kick to keep going, that's what an energy drink is meant for. Not to be consumed like this. So they're not even meant to be consumed every day, you know. They're only meant to be consumed as when you need that boost. Um... And as I've always said, 99.9% .9 of everything we eat is safe if used in moderation. You know, the only reason 
fatty foods become a problem is because people eat too much of it for whatever reason it could be through depression or through addiction or whatever that doesn't matter the point is the fatty foods are fine it's just that people eat too much of it same with sweet stuff same with sodas anything if you eat it or drink it in moderation in theory you should be fine but everybody is different and your body's going to react differently someone's but someone you know may be able to handle it and someone else's body may not be able to handle it like mine can't handle too much lactose or sugar <laughs> or much of anything else at the moment <laughs> uh, but yeah I'll never blame the actual product it's all down to the person using it um, the health risks are known you know, I'm surprised she didn't actually get a caffeine overdose to be honest you know her heart rate must have been through the roof with all that caffeine because it increases your heart rate the caffeine increases your heart rate the sugar gives you the energy rush <clears throat> I mean, hell, when I was able to drink energy drinks, they're actually small cans. I was drinking bigger ones than that, and I would drink one. Just one a day. And I would be buzzing my tits off for well over 12 hours. I wouldn't be able to sleep. If I had one at 6 o'clock in the evening, I won't be sleeping until 8 o'clock the next morning. That's how I used to pull all-nighters, because I'd just be buzzing my tits off. I used to try everything. I used to go on long bike rides at night, I used to go on walks, I used to try anything just to burn that energy off. <laughs> Obviously I can't do that. Well I could if I got the sugar free energy drinks, but I gave those up as soon as I found out I was diabetic. To me that was just an instant nope. Anyway, I just want to put the camera on and just mention that because I thought that was an interesting article. I think she's a bit of a silly move for doing it, you know, she's risked her own life for her own addiction. Hopefully she'll learn now and pack it in, it won't be hard, it won't be easy, sorry. Because it'll be the caffeine that she's addicted to. And again, because we're all different, some people would be more prone to that sort of addiction than others. I mean, if I was a caffeine addict, I'd be drinking coffees, cappuccinos, frappuccinos, and whatever else you can get. Drinking energy drinks. Probably never sleeping. I can't see how she slept either, Jesus. 20 cans a day. If I knew what the content was, I'd have gone and done the maths to actually find out how much caffeine and uh, sugar she was intaking. But I can't, I did look on a Red Bull once, but I can't remember the numbers. Otherwise, I'd have done a quick calculation, but never mind. Silly Moo Moo, she looks quite young in there as well. If you looked at her photo, she doesn't look very old. My age, maybe a little bit younger, give or take. Jesus, doctors thought she might be an alcoholic, it was that bad. Ouch, 16 Mars bars worth of sugar. Jesus. 26. What's well, it about my age or younger, didn't I? You silly woman. Ooh. Ah, according to scientists in Canada, um, they conducted an extensive review of the scientific literature on caffeine 
In fact, the general population of healthy adults is not at risk for potential adverse effects from caffeine. Um, if they limit their consumption to 400 milligrams per day. We think she was uh, going over that at 20 cans a day. And she put on what? Well, oh, she definitely looks better now. That was a recent picture of her. She's lost weight and stopped drinking it. Kudos to her for quitting then. She's obviously sold her story to the papers as hopefully a message to other people. Don't do it. <laughs> Not a good idea. I tried to drop on my tongue and it tastes like pure sugar. I'll never go back to how I was now. No, it doesn't. Oh, but it is a 250 mil can, so maybe it does. I'm going to check, because according to a Red Bull spokesman, um, they claim the energy drink contains the same amount of sugars as the same sized apple juice, orange juice, or conventional soft drink. 27 grams. Um, I think... It's actually a bit higher than that, but I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and say. Anyway, I'm going to disappear. So, um, bye for now. Thought I'd give this tripod a whirl. Did what I was doing wrong? I was trying to screw the um, tripod into the wrong hole. There's two fixings underneath this camera. I um, mean, they're both different sizes, and I forgot about that. So the one I was trying to fit the tripod to was um, the wrong size. So I've got the camera on the tripod. It's going to make life a little bit easier. I've got two hands free now. Light shining in my face. <laughs> uh, might just be able to see behind me that the... Uh, Claude Butler's not in the lounge anymore, that's out on the landing. When I took... Excuse me. When I took the giant downstairs earlier, I think I've done myself a mischief. Because uh, I can barely bend. So I think I've done myself quite a, a big mischief. Never mind, it's okay, as long as I don't bend. Yeah. Other than that, not done a great deal, had a little bit of a clean up. Uh, I think I need to get in the bedroom and just put a couple of tubs where they're supposed to be at least. I might be able to manage that, but I don't think I'm going to manage doing a lot more. I wanted to take the Claude Butler downstairs to um, do the lighting and whatnot down there, but uh, that ain't going to happen because I've got to bring it up again. So, my plan in a moment will be to go downstairs, grab a bottle of cola. Not sure where I'm going to go to get that yet. <sighs> I might zip across to Little and put the bikes in the shed and lock everything up down there and come back upstairs and chill out for the evening. Uh, might just cut some pieces of wood to wedge under the bed frame because it still creaks like hell my neighbour can still hear it. And it gets on my nerves every time I roll over, you just hear it. But of course, with metal legs, the sound is transferring through the bed base, through the legs and through the floor, so... Um, 
but it's the actual frame that's creaking. One rail, one metal rail that runs between the, um, you know, the front end and the back end of the bed. So, uh, scab or something up here. A bit of psoriasis with some dead skin. That bloody hurt though, whatever it is. But it annoys me. As soon as I find something like that, I've got to scratch it all and get it all off. Otherwise, it just annoys me knowing it's there. I've actually put the heating on because I was feeling a bit chilly. Actually, my hands were getting cold. Warming up in here now, even with the windows open. Right. Here we go. <sighs> I'm going to disappear into the bedroom. There's one box to go in the closet. One to go... In the chest of drawers, I think there might be one to go under the bed. That'll give me a bit of floor space in there anyway. And uh, I've actually did realise, because when I put the camera on here at first, it tilted left and right, and I thought, well, that do not seem right. So I made a few adjustments, so now I can uh, kind of tilt the camera. It's not very good, but. It's better than what I had before that. Like, nothing. Anyway, I'll talk to you in a little while. Probably when I've come back from Lidl's or wherever I disappeared to. Right. Last time tonight, with the camera that is. I've had the E500 out, a compact Armada E500. So I've been playing a uh, theme hospital. Uh, I have to shut it down for the night. It's working fine. Got an external mouse connected because I don't mind using the touch pads just for general browsing of the internet, but when you're trying to play games and whatnot, they're bloody oh hate them. Um as far as this bike goes, I've got the lights on. And just to show you what I did with the rear lights. You can see the metal bracket here and the two screws. I did the same on the other side and you might just see it in the shadows. And the actual bracket that holds the light is just bolted through the end hole on here. On the metal bracket. Simple as that. And I've made some, um, without having to machine anything, I've made some um, tough brackets because I tried bending one of those because the bracket on the... Um, that one was a bit twisted, the plastic is twisted. It's quite tough to bend. I've got the same setup up here. Doesn't really matter which way around you put the LED and the normal light, I just threw them on there. I've already started with the main light, or the non LED on the left as we look at the bike, on the right as you look from behind. So I just went with the floor and put the LED on the left and same with the front, LED on the left, non-LED on the right, I don't know why, it's just the way I did it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter in the least. But, uh, this bike actually came with one of these on here, but without the lens. And it still worked. Oddly enough, it still worked. Can I... It's not bad light, really. I'm actually glad I got a tripod for this, because, I don't know, I just prefer to hold the camera with a little tripod. This has got a hand strap on it, but for some I find that with a tripod it's easier for me to do this and swap my hands, you see. I can do it, um, if I do it carefully, I can um, swap hands. A bit steadier. So uh, I don't know how long this tripod's going to last because it does feel like a really cheap Poundland jobby. But uh, yeah, it's better than not having one, I suppose. There's more CDs I need to listen through. 
think my brother's right, I should uh, rip some of these to the PC. I do like having a bit of an old school CD collection. I haven't had one in years. I think it was about 2006, 2007 when I um, actually did away with my CD collection and put all my music to a PC. Don't think, no, I haven't got any of that now. I think the hard drive died, but I got music. I like my music. Oh. And I have to have a play with my power bank as well. And considering we had another power cut this morning, that thing might actually come in handy. Yeah, I can't remember if I mentioned it earlier in the video, but I woke up, actually I think I did, I woke up to no power. Well, I actually woke up because the fan stopped. And I'm laying in bed thinking, there's no way my credit on my electric meter has run out that fast. But, uh, no, it turns out our road at least had lost power again for about 45 minutes. Half an hour, 45 minutes, something like that. It weren't very long, but... Um, if I needed to get hold of anyone, I wouldn't have been able to. Because uh, if I had a laptop that ran on battery, that was charged, <laughs> um, I could have jumped onto a BT Wi-Fi hotspot to get online. But uh, I couldn't even do that because I haven't got a laptop with battery. Um, that's probably one of the biggest advantages internet wise of me living where I am because I've got a BT account I can use their Wi-Fi hotspots for free I just log in with my BT account details and that's it They're, the only flaw on their side with that is if they if I don't pay my phone bill and they disconnect me like they have done before because my account is still active, I just log on to a BT Wi-Fi hotspot. That's what I've done before. I only did it just to see if it would work. Mm, yep. So just for that day, I had no internet. I was just jumped on the Wi-Fi hotspot now and again just to... Uh, well, Mum was using Facebook regularly back then. She don't use it much nowadays. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> But uh, I couldn't even use a tablet because it's not charged. <laughs> Maybe I should keep things like that charged just in case. Because otherwise I sit here with absolutely jack shit to do. I haven't even got a radio up here. Oh, I've got some new batteries to go in my radio downstairs. But I know I've got the one downstairs I could easily run down and get, but... I don't know. It'd be just as easy to have one up here. Maybe I could build something. Maybe I could do something different. Get an old car radio and run it off a 12 volt battery. As it's got to be a 12 volt DC. Any 12 volt DC adapter would do. Just watching that dog walker. Uh, someone has been walking their dog through here and letting them shit on the grass and not uh, picked it up. We get kids frequently pass through here with the parents, without the parents, high school kids, you know. It's a frequent walk through. And you can just imagine, you know, the kids will want to run across the grass and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> um... It's only happened twice recently though, it's all gone since the grass cutters came along and mowed the grass, but uh, still not pleasant is it, come on. If you own a fucking dog, clean up its shit, don't leave it there for other people to walk in because it's not nice, it's not hygienic, if a kid falls in it, it can carry some very nasty diseases. So, but people still do it. <laughs> it's annoying. I want to play with my soldiering arm. I oh, know that was completely random. 
But I now come back in here, looked at my soldering iron and thought, I want to play with that. I don't know what I want to do though. How do you want to solder something together, not take it apart? I know I can desolder things. I just need to practice soldering. <laughs> I haven't done it for years, so I'm a bit going to be um, rather rusty. And I don't see a TV on in a shop window for me. Well, at least the wind outside has dropped. I just hope we get some sun. At least make it sunny for the weekend. Oh dear. When I was in the um, junk shop today, I was going to buy another foot pump. Um, it did look in good condition, but... I did look at it and I did notice where the um, shaft goes in the back for the piston, you know, for the pump, it was a bit bent. So I thought, nah, that ain't going to last very long if I got that. My one's working fine. I got one sitting at the workshop at Stepdad's, which I got from the tip. The tip, the dump, call it what you will, recycle centre. Right. What's the time? Almost ten minutes to eleven. Uh, I've got wind coming out of both ends tonight. <coughs> oh, bloody hell. More so this end, so at least it doesn't smell. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, the ratchet mechanism isn't very good on this uh, stand. I'm just checking the time. Ten minutes. Well, I actually can't think of anything else to um, talk about, to be honest. Here we go. Yeah, it's not the, not the best tripod in the world, but it's doing its job. But at least I can actually sit the camera there. And you can see me while I'm uh, doing boring shit on the computer. But like I said... Oh! That has happened recently. Where they, um, the North Norfolk District Council, that is, bought a derelict building in town to finish demolition, because the um, owner lost interest or whatever, didn't want nothing to do with it, couldn't go through with planning. Um, they landscaped the land as well, and they put these um, Yorkstone down, Yorkstone paving slabs. They've actually started to flake, some of them are starting to flake badly. Um, but what I'm finding odd is, the ones that are flaking badly are in the same spot in the same line as a couple of slabs and to me it actually looks like someone's this is just my thoughts it looks like someone's actually been down there because it's a bit like slate it's layered so it looks like someone's been down there you know and sort of chiseled bits off and helped it along and that's what it looks like to me I wouldn't be surprised with kids in this town and whatnot So, um, the council were debating whether or not to um, cordon the area off for safety fears. But uh, some people were instantly blaming the contractors that laid at corner crap work, but. The thing is, it's the actual slabs, not their work, that's failing. 
So it's not fair to um, slate the contractors off, really, is it? If it was like their cement work or something in between, you know, in the cracks between the slabs, if that was failing and coming apart, then I'd say, you know, you can blame the contractors. Or if the slabs were sinking or something like that, but it's the actual slabs themselves, which means they're either poor quality slabs or something's happened to cause it. Um, but, you know, most people commenting don't actually know <laughs> about sl the slabs. I don't know about the slabs either. Even someone said because of their design, a bit like slate, they will flake, but not quite like that. There's some chunks coming off of it. That's a trip hazard. Then again, so is the precinct, which is right next to it, but uh, I won't even get into that one at the moment. <laughs> and the precinct isn't really the town council's responsibility. But, uh, more is that area, really. That's North Norfolk District Council's problem, but... They're about as much use as a wet fart in a thunderstorm. <laughs> a quiet man is a thinking man, a quiet woman is fucking pissed. That's what I say. I don't even know what I'm doing now. Barry's nearly dead, so I think I'm just killing time now. thinking I'll get a phone call from mum tonight but then I remember I won't because she's at work. <laughs> Do you ever feel like running away? If I'm honest, a few times. <laughs> just suddenly leaving, no note, no warning, just getting your shit and leaving. Yeah, I have in the past felt like that. And then try to um, fathom why I bothered to stay. <laughs> da 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 da. How can you fail a theory test, a driver's, driver's theory test? I don't drive and I know full well I could pass that. Just out of curiosity, how many times have these two drivers failed it? Two. 
two learner drivers have collectively spent more than £6,500, about $10,000-ish, trying to pass the theory test. That's a theory test alone. That's not the practical. That's not the actual driving. That's the written work. Jesus. A British learner driver has failed her theory test a record 113 times is facing competition from a man who has just flopped at his 107th attempt. A 30-year-old woman was dubbed the UK's worst learner last year after at most she had spent a whopping £3,500 trying to pass the knowledge-based theory exam that also, also tests your... Um, Hazard perception, because you watch a video and you have to click on any potential hazard that you see. I'd give up. Because if you can't pass it the first couple of times, then you're not suited for driving. And you're probably... Then again, having said that, I've seen that people who have... Uh, passed their test and actually wonder how the fuck they even passed it. <laughs> Makes you giggle. Oh well. My sister is a dizzy tart at times, but even she managed to pass it. And she really, I don't mean it offensively, but she is not the brightest bulb in the box. Geography is actually, I would say, her worst subject. <laughs> the number of laughs we've had when we've had geographic discussions around mums. And we all just want to, you know, slam our faces into the nearest table. <laughs> Uh, yeah, she is a bit of a dizzy mare at times. But to fail your theory that many times. Ah, oh dear. I keep looking at the screen, expecting to see that battery flashing red at me. Hmm? Oh God. Da -da 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 -da. Just hit 11 o'clock. Okay. Woman buys used freezer for, from neighbour for 30 bucks. Finds body parts inside. She sold me her frozen mother for 30 bucks. How do you do something like that? What's that? Sell it or... Cut them up and freeze them. Oh. Okay. That means I'm intelligent then. Apparently intelligent people stay up late, are messy and love to swear. I don't fucking swear. Never fucking swear. <laughs> yeah, if that's true then yeah, I must be the brain of Britain then. <laughs>
Oh, here we go, the battery's flashing red. So I better be off. Be off. That was broad Norfolk. Get some food down for boss man. May pour myself another drink. I might stick the headphones on, listen to some music for a little while. But, uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching and uh, cheerio. He says, knocking the camera over.